we go. Now the Revelations Easter egg was actually pretty good, I mean, despite the ending cutscene, but like, the steps, let me tell you, the steps were just something I was not a fan of, like, Honestly, if you it, it seems like it's a little bit pay to win. I've been streaming for the last few days and we've been doing it numerous numerous challenges. Our sweet time. That's not I got sniped by a phase panzer. Are you kidding me? And they involve getting certain things out of the box. So we get what I need. We need that we I got snipers, I got pistols, whatever challenge I was doing, we got it. And the one thing that's kind of unfortunate is the fact that we need to get three or two things at least, two things that are a must out of the box, which is the Apothic and Servant, and that's how you collect the bones and all that good stuff and pick up Sophia's body when she's being reincarnated or like Jesus and the I don't, I don't understand. But anyway, but like literally, it, it was just something, it, it's just annoying, because you also need Lil Arnie's. Now, if I don't have an immolation, I'm basically screwed. I have to hit the box numerous times and waste millions of points. I can't do the Easter egg. Wow, I'm really Italian, because I'm using my hand a lot. I'm, like, playing with one hand in the controller. But, like, I'm literally, I'm, like, I'm, like, trying to get keep my balance by moving my arm like that. But, honestly, hitting the box is annoying. It's 950 points every time you hit it. If you don't have immolation or three of them, you're kind of screwed. Because you're gonna be wasting half your time trying to get little Arnie's and Apothic and Servants, which is kind of unfortunate because you need the Apothic and Servant, and hopefully you can get it within later rounds or whatever. But sometimes you don't even get the Thunder Gun, which really sets you even further back, and you're like, hello, why is this happening? And then you find out maybe, maybe it's happening because you probably didn't pick up the pencil for someone in your class the other day. Just, you know, good deeds, and you know, it just, good karma doesn't come back to you. But anyway, honestly, like, it's just annoying. When I'm doing challenges, I literally sit there, I have everything set up, I did the first step, and I cannot get Lil Arnie's out of the goddamn box. Like, I sit there for a bit, I don't even know how long. And the whole stream's like, you should just restart, and I'm like, this happens all the time. If I'm wasting so much ammo doing this, it's just not gonna change. So the fact that I have to sit there and wait till round 25 to get Lil Arnie's to start step 2 is just a little bit ridiculous. Now, it just sounds like a little bit of a rant, but like, are you kidding me? Wait till round 25 because I couldn't get Lil Arnie's out of the damn box. Like, come on. B, let's get real track. Your steps are nice, but like, what? Hello? Oh, I thought that was mine. I was like, I was like, I just hit the box and ran away, and apparently it wasn't. But like, come on, now we went down and we got the, the hamaka. But it's just annoying. I honestly think it's so dumb. The Easter egg is 100% like easy. It's very, very easy if you have the, uh, the, the immolation. But I don't have immolations. I don't have perkaholics. My, like, everything takes longer. I don't mind not having a perkaholic. But not having an immolation just makes this Easter egg so much longer and so much more stressful than it has to be. And sometimes you have to restart on round 20, which then you've just wasted all of your time. Now, obviously, it is easy to do the Easter egg on a low round. But, like, come on. Who really wants to do the Easter egg on a high round? Like, really? I mean, these guys are going down on round 4. I've never played pubs. This is odd. This is very odd. But, like, I just don't understand it. And someone left a Ragnarok sitting over there, like, little candles. Like, what are they doing? I don't understand half this stuff. It's kind of ridiculous. But, again, like, some of the steps... Oh, really? Really? What are you doing? Oh. What the hell? He has zero point. No, that's not him. What the hell just happened? I'm, I'm over him. I'm over him. He's just gonna doing the same shit. He's gonna be moonwalking. But, um, I, the, the steps were pretty good. Now, the little Arnie step, again, was a little bit tricky because it is timed for every three holes that you have to throw them into. Which, again, I guess if you understand that, then it makes the steps a little bit more easy. And I do like the fact that after you have, like, I suppose a good amount of kills from the margwas and the heads and now if you have profit sharing on god bless you you are all rich but if you did do kill the little uh the margwas and you get the like abundance of points once you have to use a turret it kind of compensates for that like using the turret to shoot the crystals and then revive sophia it does compensate for that which is pretty good and i guess in a sense but again it's just annoying doing certain steps like that and i'm not like uh I'm, I'm not too fond of it you know 
But this easter egg was pretty good. I mean, there was a little bit of tedious stuff like the bone finding, but we still got everything done that we had to. But anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy this type of little... Motherfucker. I hope you enjoyed this rant. Like, Jesus, man. I just can't wait for mod tools. I can't wait to play on my PC. I can't wait to sleep. And yeah, Sir Hamlet's here with my Taco Bell shirt on. Guys, we're just killing it today. But anyway, my name is Avery, and I'm out.